Thanks for joining me for MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Dan Adams. Today we're talking about the linear friction welding of blisks. Today we're going to talk about the linear friction welding of blisks. A blisk is another name for a bladed disc that might be used in an aircraft engine. Uh, now, in an aircraft engine, it might be the front fan or it might be in the compressor section. And they're typically made out of titanium. But if you wanted to use bliss for stationary power generation, uh, then it might be made out of stainless steel uh, or a carbon steel. So traditionally, bliss are made out of a single forging. And the challenge with that is those forgings are really expensive. Uh, they would be machined out. So I have a scale model here showing different blades. Now, these blades might be uh, a foot long or more. And the diameter of this disc as an assembly might be really large as well. Uh, but as you look at this scale model, machining each one of these blades out of this assembly is very precise work, very time consuming, very expensive. But the material properties that you get in the blade might not be ideal compared to the material properties that you have in the hub. So what people came up with was being able to weld one of these blades on individually. I can control the material properties of the blade, this forging, much more tightly than I can of the entire assembly. And then if I weld one of these blades on at a time, now I have the linear friction welding process. So this blade can be a different alloy uh, compared to the hub. So now I can make this out of two different materials, further driving the material or the performance characteristics uh, of the assembly. Now linear friction welding one of these blades on a time can be significantly challenging. So in the, in the linear friction welding process, I'm not allowed to touch the blade because the blade is mostly finished. So I'm only allowed to touch this collar. So I have to take the forge force through the collar as well as the process forces associated with friction through the collar without distorting the blade. Uh, and when I weld each one of them on, at the end I have to be able to machine this collar and the upset or flash formation off uh, post weld. And I need the space between the components uh, for that machining. And I got to get my tooling in here because eventually I have to weld the last blade on here which is in between two already welded blades. These challenges are very difficult when it comes to the linear friction welding uh, of blisks. So I'm going to hold on to the blade. I'm going to oscillate it in this position, which means I need to tool the hub in a certain way where I take the angle of the blade and the angle of the hub and neutralize them both using tooling so that I can oscillate uh, the blade in the same position every time and apply my forge force uh, for the welding process. So MTI has built several production machines for the welding of bliss. We've produced uh, several production sets of tooling so that we have experience in productionizing this process. We have the ability to do weld development for you so you can understand the metallurgy. As you're putting your own bliss welding process together, we can hold your hand through this all the way to full stage uh, production intent components that can be welded at the lift facility in Detroit, Michigan uh, on a 75 ton linear friction welder uh, that we delivered to them. So in order to help new people do blisk welding uh, using the linear friction welding process, MTI can help you all the way from weld development to production intent parts. Thank you for joining us for this episode of MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. For more information on this topic or other friction welding solutions, please visit our website at mtiwelding.com. <laughs>